fun with tie-dye. Awesome. Now we are going to show you how to tie-dye some shirts. So this shirt, we we'll start with a white one, was pre-soaked. So we put it in water and you wring out the extra water and lay it flat. Now this uh, style we're doing here is going to be a swirl. So you saw it laid flat and then we just spun around, twist, twist, twist. And then uh, we have some rubber bands. All of this came in the kit that you saw at the beginning of the video. And so what we're doing is we're going to make a pie shape out of these rubber bands. And we're going to use a total of three. And they will crisscross in the middle, just like this. We're crossing over. And it'll make six different pie sections once we get it finished. And so uh, the goal is to try to get as much of the t-shirt in as possible and uh, to just make your sections. And so just like that. Now it's time to put the color in. And so with this kit, all we had to do is add water. And so we just put water in the tubes and we pick three colors that we thought would go well together and we're squirting them on the pie shape. So you want to saturate well. The kit says don't oversaturate, but we wanted some really dark color. So uh, we're doing one side of the shirt now and then we're flipping over and doing the other side. And we used almost all of the colors um, in these tubes. And so after we get it all squirted on like this, we need to put it into its own bag, um, this little trash bag we use, and uh, just put it away for 24 hours. So we're setting it in there and we're just gonna put it away. Um, we did several different projects this day. We did multiple shirts, and so we're gonna show you one more once we get this wrapped up and um, to show you just the different styles that you can do with tie-dye. It's so fun. And nowadays it all comes in a kit. If you just want to order that online or whatever. And whatever you have that is white will look great once you get finished. So we're done with this one and we're just going to set it aside for about 24 hours and then we'll come back to that later. Now this one is another shirt that uh, we're doing stripes up and down, vertical stripes. And so we pre-soaked the shirt, we folded it like an accordion up and down. Um, so the shirt would have been laying sideways on this table and then see all these different rubber bands. Uh, we separated it in different sections with the rubber bands to make the stripes. And so we are soaking them just the same. Oh, and just to let you know where the rubber bands are is supposed to be where white stripes will be in between your colors. So it's supposed to be holding it close for that to create the white stripes. These are masks because, you know, we're stuck wearing these masks for the time being. But don't worry, it's just temporary. That will go away one day. So this one is um, mainly one color and she is putting blue up and down and I think at the end she might add a different color uh, a different blue color blue she's just doing sporadic and it's folded the same accordion way that the shirt that we just looked at was and look how we're doing it over a trash can so we're making less mess so here is that last shirt we looked at with all of the stripes. Didn't that turn out awesome? See the white stripes? That's where the rubber bands were. That just looks great. So this is 24 hours after we colored the shirts. And she took off all the rubber bands. And now we have to rinse it out. So some people used to put salt in there to help the color stay and not bleed away. Um, this kit didn't tell us to do that, but you can always add salt if you want in the bag for the 24 hours. So you want to rinse it until you get as clear water as possible. And this is what they turned out to be. The one on the far left are the stripes, the one in the middle was the swirls, and then look at all of our masks. The one that's sitting on the seat, the blue one, is the one we saw with two color blues. And that's it! Fun stuff with tie-dye. 
Thanks for joining us.